A young man, Sfiso Sbanyoni, and his partner, Lerato Di Tsejo, have pioneered a 100% black-owned visual arts agency, which they call Eccentrics. They already have a lot to show in the two years that they've been running this business. They've got a successful uh, you know, operation running, and they've become successful in securing some of the most uh, lucrative contracts in their business, in the food industry, oil and mining sectors, as well as the SOEs, which are the uh, state-owned enterprises. They've achieved great success locally, and now the next chapter of their story is expansion. Take a look at their story. Let's go! It was through my corporate experience, uh, having been in marketing for all these years, I came across the entire production of what photo shoots really are and what they are about. Fell in love with that very quickly um, and decided to remove myself from the corporate uh, environment and start my own business, which specialized in producing photo shoots. So I was a producer. Uh, the reason I think that I decided to go into, into entrepreneurship, it's always been something I've always wanted to do. I've always sort of been drawn towards it, you know, been drawn towards being able to create and, and to build um, and something that while I was in corporate I felt quite lacking. Uh, I was in IT, in corporate, in technology, but I've always been drawn to being able to create, to build and uh, to leave a legacy. I think um, that has been a challenge in that you're competing against people that have been doing this for years. So now it's about how do you differentiate yourself? so that you stand out. So we take ourselves quite seriously. Image is everything for us. Corporate image, personal image is quite important. I mean, even the environment that we're in had to be different. It had to be bold and colorful and vibrant and fresh. So everything that we're putting on the table is different. So the biggest challenge is how are we going to be different? Some of the other challenges that we faced um, in, in really establishing this agency is, is really understanding who we are and what our product offering is. What are we bringing to the market? What gap are we plugging in the market? Um, as we've said, there's a lot, there can be a lot of people within the space um, and if you're not quite sure who you are and what you are trying to address in the market, it can take you quite a while to really find the, the clients and really to appeal to your clients and for them to be able to know who you are and eventually start coming to you for business. Um, we've worked for everything that we have today. When we got together, we had zero cents. <laughs> we, we literally just started off with the first project and from that we saved. Second project we saved, third project, and that's exactly how we've done it. Um, the, the paint job that you see here today was self-funded, well the business funded that, but um, we haven't gotten the, 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 the loans, the, 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 the grants, etc. I think we've been fortunate that um, uh, our business is based on a service that allows us to generate our own revenue. Um, we haven't had a, a sort of big capital need. Um, you know, with a camera, if you can get in front of the right client, you can conceptualize and put together a shoot and start generating revenue. Um, so from day one, we've been generating revenue and we've been quite fortunate to be profitable from day one. Um, our revenue have kept our sort of expenses quite light. Um, even uh, on what we had to outlay on our projects has been quite light. So we were able to then generate the revenue as we go. Um, where we see ourselves in 3 to 5 years is without a doubt being um, the leading corporate um, photography agency in the country. We, we were doing well, I think we are positioned well for that, for that market, we understand that market, um, we are, we are well organized and our clients really are receptive to our services. So without a doubt being the leading corporate photography agency in the country and uh, also then expanding into different revenue streams and different product offerings uh, which include um, equipment rental and some of uh, fine art and uh, stock imagery sales so we can start um, really capitalizing and monetizing some of the great images that we've captured over the years. For us to grow as an agency um, it is about working and capturing and attracting great visual um, artists as well, you know. Uh, so we are definitely, or actually in the process right now, of starting to employ um, a couple of young visual artists that can then grow with us as a business. You know, I think anything that is able to, uh, that, that you're able to start from infancy, to, for, from an infancy level to a point where it just runs and flies, it's a great achievement. Um, I don't think it's a photography thing for me, it's a business question. Um, it's how have you been able to, how are you able to take something this small and make it something this big in the space of time that you did. So for me it's about growth, growth strategy. How do we scale our business? 
our business is a creative business a lot of our intellectual property resides in our actual physical skills so how do we then you know replicate and scale it to be a large organization uh, so there's certainly uh, a question that we ponder on and, uh, and we entertain and, and we, you know, we get closer to the answer as we grow. The idea really was uh, to turn our studio also into a gallery space where we can also show off and put up our work. You know, there's a saying that if you really love your work, print it. You know, once it's printed, it, it takes on a different life. Um, some of my favorites, I think this is probably one of my favorite images. Um, one of my, surely my most iconic images, it's a cityscape of Johannesburg um, taken from the 50th floor uh, of the Carlton Center. Uh, I just love the dynamism and just, you can't even tell that it's Joburg. There's just so much going on and, and most people who come and see the image end up just sitting there and like really just looking at it for hours and then starting to recognize certain areas of it. I'm a big fan of architectural photography as well and capturing skylines. We look at how can we create or how can we shoot this one element differently and make it creative, make it fun, make it eccentric.